Bobby. Okay. We will not miss our turn. That's our turn. Bobby. Okay. Bobby. That was a little better one. In fact, I did not like it. <laughs> do I know where I'm going? How do I not know where I am? This does not look familiar to me. Wait, this looks familiar. Hold on. Oh, we missed our turn. Don't do the same thing we did last time. Okay. Why is this car following me? I don't like it. Go away. Why are there so many vehicles? Oh my gosh, I want to jump off that. Oh my gosh, I'm lost. What the heck? This is not where I'm supposed to be, dude. How am I this freaking... Ah! Wait, wait a minute. Oh, there I am. That's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Make sure you always cover that back brake. Like right there. Back brake. I'm only on the back brake. Off the back brake. Coast into the back brake. Stop me. So, this here is a 2017 Z125, aka green bean okay you can wheelie just about any bike maybe not those big harley boys i know it's doable i've seen guys do it would i recommend no what you're gonna do this here is what you call a clutch see that you pull it in Alrighty. now that you guys know what a clutch is and how it works you should know that if you're going to wheelie um yeah let's let's rewind a little bit if you guys are trying to wheelie you guys need to be comfortable with your bike, meaning you guys should have a minimum of a certain amount of fun hours on your motorcycle to feel comfortable with it. Fun hours. Anywho, uh, this is what you call a back brake here, okay? That here caliper, two pads press on that disc rotor, therefore stopping the back tire. And a squealer. When you're back, the only thing contacting the ground from you in death is your rear tire. So, the only way to come back down to be more connected with the earth is hitting the back brake. Okay, now that you guys all know how a back brake works, which you should know if you're doing a wheelie. Anyways, you're going to be in a neutral seating position. You do not want to be too far back on the seat. You do not want to be too forward on the seat. You want to be in a neutral. After you are in the middle of the bike, you want to have a first gear position. You're going to roll to about a middle RPM range to where the bike isn't bogged down, but it's also in a good power band. You're going to give it a decent amount of throttle. Depending on your bike, you might need more or might need less. And you're just going to not just dump the clutch. You don't bruh. You're not doing that. You're bruh. It's more of a you're dumping the clutch, but it's a very smooth motion. A lot of people mistake that. They blow the tire off if it's cold out, or they just they just pop it up, get scared, and let go of the throttle. You want it to be a very smooth and swift motion. All right. For this bike, I'm going to be in second gear. R6, I start in second gear. You can always shift to third. That is way later down the road when you get comfortable with the back brake and comfortable with the bike. That's when you shift in the wheelie. Do not attempt faster wheelies as a beginner than you need to do. Do not power wheelie your bike. You get going to high speeds. You do not have back brake control yet, and you just are not fit to do a wheelie at those speeds. No one is. No one should be. Learn how to do slow before you go fast. That is my number one tip. Okay. Let's give you guys an example. Make sure you have your foot over that back brake. What I recommend if you have one of these smaller bikes, or if you guys have a dirt bike, put it into first gear. You're going to have one finger on the clutch. You're going to get right to that engagement point. You're going to cover that back brake. Hang your back foot off. This is only if you have a dirt bike. You cannot do this if you have an R6 or a bigger bike. So you're going to cover that back brake, you're going to pop it up, you're going to pull, work us on feathering the clutch and hitting the back brake at the same time, okay? 
So what I did basically there was I popped it up. I was covering the back brake. The second it got to that balance point, I was covering the back brake so I could hit that back brake. Getting used to that, tra training my brain to where it gets back to that point, you know to hit that back brake. So you're gonna be either in first or second gear, depending on your bike. I'm gonna do a second gear. And what you're gonna do, let's get a little run here. It's all right, we have an audience, but that's okay. Oh. We are in second gear. I'm going at a decent pace. I am covering that back brake. I'm in a seated neutral position. I am, I just popped the clutch. See, back brake, it is down. Okay. I feel like I'm doing an awful job of explaining this. <laughs> Dropping the clutch, giving it gas. Dropping the clutch at a comfortable rate, not too fast, not too slow. Just, it's, it's all a feel for the bike. And that's why I say you guys need a certain amount of fun time hours on your bike to be completely comfortable with it. Know how your bike reacts to certain throttle, throttle percentages. Know how your clutch works, where it engages. Also, know how touchy your back brake is. The, the worst thing that can possibly happen when you're doing a wheelie is when you loop it out. Bike flies out from behind you, or in front of you and you break your ankle and fall on the ground. That one was for you, Zach. It hurts so bad. Oh really? Next, we're gonna take this dry cement and rip his pubes off with it. <laughs> okay.